Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Obviously, I have a town right now in a hotel room, so we are not in the garage. However, this came to me on Instagram while I was actually out in the sand dunes in Glamis Sand Dunes. That vlog is to come for you guys. <laughs> is this yours? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, but a lot of followers on my Instagram DM'd me this and apparently it was on a Facebook page. As you guys know, I'm not on the Facebook pages or Forerunner forums. I personally don't like forums or those pages. There's a lot of good information on them, but for the bit of good information, there's a lot of BS. However, this seems legitimate, this picture right here. We'll go ahead and get into it and I'll just talk about it for a second. It basically confirms a sixth generation Forerunner is coming, not as soon as we want, and other new Toyota models. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, guys, so looking at this photo, please take it with a grain of salt. We do not know the context of whatever was said at this meeting. We don't know if this is legitimately true. 99.9% .9 I think it is true just because the colors are all Toyota. My dealership guys, they wear the same type of shirts, that gray and black Toyota coloring. And then you also have Toyota's logo down here at the very bottom right. Getting into it, in fall 2020, an all new hybrid Toyota Sienna is gonna be coming out. So if that don't come out in fall 2020, we know this thing is fake. Following that, we have an all new crossover fall of 2020 as well. More than likely, this is gonna be the Toyota Venza that is slotted to come back. It is a bigger crossover, so that is more than likely gonna be that vehicle, and it's an all hybrid model, which is very cool. Following the next year in 2021, taking a big jump, uh, we get the Toyota 86. A brand new 86 is rumored to be called the GR86 with a 244 horsepower motor. That'll be like right on par with the new four cylinder super coming out. So I'm very interested on how they're gonna, you know, differentiate each other with that four cylinder Supra. What I'm very excited for is in Q3 of 2021, an all new CUV, a compact utility vehicle. It's like a crossover, but a lot smaller. This is rumored to be built off of the Corolla chassis. So as small as a Corolla, it'll go right under the RAV4 in size. Then following that, like a lot of people have been rumoring, the Tundra Q4 2021, most likely December timeframe as a model year 2022. And then what you guys want, confirmed a Sequoia and Forerunner in 2022 as a 2023 model year. So that's pretty insane, guys. They're gonna stretch the fifth gen Forerunner out another two years, which is good for some people, upsetting for a lot of others that are in the market for a Forerunner, uh, but the fifth gen will just keep trucking on, I guess. So if this video was helpful for you guys, you'd like this information, please help me out by giving it a thumbs up. I'm sorry about the quality and the setting of this video, but these are the cards that I have dealt right now and I still needed to get this video out for you guys. So if you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.